stories for your well-being. Two Northeast Indiana men in St. Joseph Hospital are on the forefront of prosthetic arm technology. They have two of only 15 of the newest arms in the world. Hank Esmond and Phil Baker only live 10 miles apart in Wells County, but their lives came together in a way they never could have imagined. They both lost arms in accidents last year. Nothing you can do, you just have to go on. October 2nd, 2008, Hank was working on power lines when he was electrocuted. He had both of his arms amputated. Just 18 days later, October 20th, Phil was driving a dump truck when he... Dropped off the edge of the road. The truck landed on Phil's arm. It couldn't be saved. Hank and Phil had dozens of surgeries, and they never gave up. Now they're learning to use new arms, prosthetic arms that are first of their kind in the world. It's not like we're ready to go out and tackle the world with them, but we're learning. Here's how a prosthetic arm works. When you move a muscle, it fires an electrical signal. Sensors in the prosthetic pick up those signals and make the arm move. Separate my shoulders. And the hand itself is just uh, a tricep muscle. I can turn it. Hank got his right arm two months ago. It has three muscle input sites. Now it's already old technology. His left arm and Phil's arm has eight input sites. Getting a lot more simultaneous control, a lot more simultaneous function. Brooke Osteen is their therapist. She's guided them to get their arms. The dedication of these two guys is astounding. I mean, there, there are days it makes me very, very emotional just to see what they've done. Hank and Phil have made a lot of progress, but their work isn't done yet. The prosthetic device may fit really well, but if the therapy piece of it isn't there, it all might just go sit in a closet. It does take a while to get used to a prosthetic arm, but they are both staying very positive and they're looking forward to eventually going back to work. Too. It really is amazing when you think about they're just willing that muscle mm -hmm. to move and then the arm is responding. Exactly. It's amazing technology. Okay, thank you, Alyssa. Mm -hmm. and still